All right, guys, um, we are going to look at the confirmation page in this video. We're going to start winding things down. The confirmation page is pretty easy. Um, just know that you guys can add in your OTOs, your downsells, your OTOs, or you can download the template that I'm going to give you guys, which already has all that stuff in there. Um, that'll be in the resources section off to you, uh, hopefully your left. Okay, so let's look at the confirmation page. Uh, just real quick, though, just know that your order pages, all these pages, are looking for that confirmation page. So when somebody buys, this is going to be your receipt, okay? Um, hopefully I can hook you guys up with a better template than uh, what these guys have because theirs doesn't look all that great. Um, but all these pages are going to be looking for that order confirmation page. So what I did was clicked on the confirmation. We have not yet set the template for that so what we're going to do is go over here to the sales tab come down to the order confirmation tab and we're going to click the only template that they have um, which is this one and if you, you guys want to get uh, crazy with this one and make it look a little bit better by all means um, I, I highly recommend uh, that you do that I'll try and provide you guys with a better looking confirmation page I'm sure I've got one around uh, somewhere so Let's look at this real quick. I just want to show you guys what's in here. Basically, it's a receipt. Uh, it's going to have uh, dynamically updated. It's going to have the purchase here. If you guys have a membership page, if you guys have the membership page developed inside of ClickFunnels, um, you can have this link here where it says access the purchase, and you can actually have that set there to download or go straight to the membership area and, and you can set that up to go directly to there uh, based on the products that they per product or products that they purchased okay and if you don't if you just want to have them download something or access that pr purchase different in a different way then just delete that download text uh, right there so uh, see what they have in the advanced section the themes there's nothing else in here um, so that's it it'll tell them how much they paid all that good stuff and uh, that's it, guys. I really don't have anything else for the confirmation page uh, except for that. Um, so I just wanted you guys to see what that was. I want you guys to go through, take take a look at that. I don't normally get too crazy with the with the confirmation page, except maybe to put a button that says "Set your membership page up here." Maybe try and brand it so it looks like the rest of the pages in your funnel so it looks halfway decent um, but it's always a good idea to have your guarantee on there and uh, a real ninja thing to do is if you have other tripwire funnels or other low-cost funnels and you want them to go through them guys put it right here i know that's crazy but uh you can put um put other funnels advertise those funnels and those offers right here that is a ninja opportunity um, because people i've seen it happen they will go through one funnel they'll buy everything and then they'll get to the confirmation page and they'll go through another funnel and they'll buy up everything inside of that funnel. Guess what? If you don't have it there, they're not going to go buy everything up, at least not right away. We call those hyperactive buyers. Um, Russ talks about hyperactive buyers in his training um, in the funnel hacks inside of Funnel University. Um, if you guys are not a part of either one of those groups, I recommend becoming a part of that. And I'll leave links up here on the resources to those if you want to get a little more uh, well-rounded and educated on funnels, I guess you could say. So um, those are all great programs. I've been inside of all of those, and uh, they are worth their weight in gold. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to talk a little bit about traffic and uh, where that traffic is going to come from, where you're going to get that traffic into your videos, okay?